Iris in Scottsdale, Arizona. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. Call me Mo, Mo Better, because that's what I'm going to have you seeing is Mo Better. And I'm going to cut Transitions Brown Lenses with Crizal Anti-Glare for your American-made American Dream. This is the model number 030. It's a 50 eye size color 2, which is a brown. You saw this frame somewhere. I now have this collection. You asked if I could get it for you. I ordered it, so let me begin. I'm going to pop out your original demo lenses. One of which says American Dream on there. Place that onto the into the tracing element of my blocker. But first, I want to program the shape into the computer. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can pop them, I can mail them right to you, and you can pop them in. And you'll see how, uh, as I make these for you tonight. Now, a little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic American dream frame made right here in Nashville, Tennessee, and you receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or health, unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Anyone out there wants some American-made frames assembled in Nashville, Tennessee, more than great music comes out of Nashville. Now they're making some frames. But if you wanted these just for fashion, I could do that too. I get a lot of requests for glasses like that. I'm going to move this on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance for the right eye is 34. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button until we get up to the 34. I want to raise the optical center up just a little bit. Change the layout screen since these are progressive lenses. Take your right lens, put it up there. Now this is a block. I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers to these for when it's cutting your lenses. I'm going to pop that on there. Put the sticker onto the first one. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet with another magnet here in the arm. Get everything lined up in there just right. Just right. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down and place the block on two of the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which will be played by the left lens today. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky, line up the magnet. Pupillary distance for the left eye is 35. I'm going to tap the plus button again and bring that up to 35. Put the lens in, rotate until the spherical component, well, actually until the dots line up. Till the dot till the cows come home and the dots line up making sure the lens is large enough to fit and it is i always just like to peek ahead of time hit that button the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens now this is the edger this is what's going to do all the work while i run my mouth it costs forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds i recommend everyone go out buy their own put it on your kitchen counter and then you can cut your own lenses at home i'm going to wake it up that's job number 1478 and the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to go ahead and let the magnet do its job a second time. I'm going to press that on there firmly. Line up the magnet there and hit start. Door is going to close. Clamp's going to shut. And then uh, two white stylus is going to trace the shape of the right side of the frame. Again, making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will hardly have any in this frame with your prescription because of the polycarbonate lenses. Now the light you see flickering in the background is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens during the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto the lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris that you will soon see beginning to form on the edge of your lens. Now, plastic high index, plastic, and Tribex lenses cut wet, meaning that water does spray onto the lens for the cutting cycle. But as I mentioned, these are polycarbonate. They are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic, they're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses, the same lens materials that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. 
These are also the same types of lenses that OSHA requires for safety glasses for anyone who works in a factory, mechanics, landscapers, all of that stuff, chemists. Now these are not OSHA safety glasses, but it's the same lens material that OSHA requires. Now, it also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Seriously, they're in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays. They do need to be reapplied every few hours. Now, if you notice, your lens is completely flat, just like a nickel. If I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter on its own. But it's just about to drop down onto the bevel wheel to get the V-shaped bevel, the knife-like edge, if you will. Now, you have the Transitions Brown, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit, but you also have the Crizal Alizé Anti-Glare. Now, Crizal is three features in one. It reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain but also from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. It also goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So when someone's looking at you, they're less likely to see any reflection, their reflection in your glasses. So it makes for much better eye contact. Plus, if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see the flash in the, in the lens. Or if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the camera in the reflection of the lens. So water has begun spraying, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. The little lever has come out with a spinning disc on it. That's what's applying a safety bevel to the back surface of the lens, essentially just to smooth out the lens in case you have any rough edges left over from the cutting cycle. Now, no portion of this lens will protrude from your frame, but the reason why I put a safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, I will demonstrate right now, right here. Let me open the chuck up. Hey Chuck, thank you Chuck. Dry everything off. Clean some things off there. Oh, a little bit of optical sawdust. Take it down here, throw that in the trash. But the reason why I put a safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, because as I'm now going to push the lens into the frame, I don't want any rough edges from the lenses to come in contact with your frame. And that snaps in there easily. Let me flip this over to L. Press that on there firmly, put that in there and hit start. Again, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens will be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit. And you can see it's just tracing the shape of the left side of the frame this time. And just like before, measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the lens so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you got none. You hear me, Iris? You got nothing. You got nada. Niente. Nine. Low. Pull that away. Dry that off. Put the sticker onto my sticker collection. Come down here to the lensometer. Your right eye reads minus 250 sphere. Let me darken that dot that's on the middle of the lens there. That means you have two and a half diopters of far-sighted correction. You are nearsighted. You are myopic. With your glasses off, everything is much too large. That's why there's a minus sign. Your lenses will minify down to the correct size. This Crizal cloth is too large. When you put your glasses on, it will minify to the correct size. Now, you have no astigmatism correction on your right eye. You have two steps on your left, but let's go ahead and check that. And we are getting minus 250, exactly halfway between two and three. So you're on the 10th rung of the ladder. Everything goes up in quarter increments, starting at zero, which we in the industry call Plano, which people in Texas call a city. But it goes up from there in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, and so on. So you're on the 10th rung of a ladder. Now your left eye, you only need six steps of far-sighted correction, but you need an additional two steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. So once it's the correct size, the image is the correct size, we have to take away those fuzzy edges. And we're going to think of it as the fine two knob, and we're going to turn that fine two knob to eight. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that fine two knob to 8. We're just going to break. Let's use a fine tip. We're just going to break that 180 meridian. Now, you need an additional. You have the invisible bifocal with a 2.75 strength. That's not your reading glasses power. You add. It's called the add because you, in addition to what's up top, you add that to it. So really, you only need plus a quarter reading in your right eye plus one and a quarter reading in your left. If you subtract 150 from 275, you would have one and a quarter. 
So you need plus one and a quarter for your left eye, plus a quarter for the right. That's why you can't buy over-the-counter reading glasses. Now, if you're right eye dominant, you can take your glasses off and read up close. You're blessed to be able to do that. So, most people need reading glasses, but again, you are nearsighted. So with your glasses off, you can see up close, great. That ship has sailed for me. I wish I could do that. I was afraid that I would lose my childlike sense of curiosity once that 40 year virus got me. I was literally 40 and six months when all of a sudden I couldn't read the newspaper anymore. But now I'm wearing the same lens, the Essilor Ideal Advanced Invisible Bifocal and I can see everything up close great. So in just a moment, I'll open this door with my mind. You like that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just got to stare at it for a couple hours until it melts, but I can do it. God, you guys don't believe me, do you? Okay, dry everything off. Make sure there's no optical sawdust. Find your frame. Take the left lens. Tuck it in at the outside corner. Oop, a little optical sawdust there. Let me get that off. Throw that away in the trash can. Clean up as I go. Tuck that in there. Push down. That snaps in there easily. Let's go ahead and take the block off. Pull that away. Drop that in there. Add that to the collection. Come down here. Turn the fine tune knob to 008. 007's uh, replacement is 008. Read the power. I'm getting hopefully minus 150. Look at that, minus 150, exactly halfway between 1 and 2. Now you have a second curve on your eye, which is two steps. So we're going to have a combined value of minus 2. Minus 2, how's that? Remember high school algebra, you add two like signs together? Yeah, don't worry, nobody does. Well, let's do this. Someone borrowed $1.50 from you, then they borrowed another 50 cents. How much would they owe you? $2. Two in the red. Everyone can figure that one out. I want my $2. All right, I'm sure my age, but anyone out there who's wearing a bifocal knows that joke. So, the PD for your right eye is 34, for your left is 35. I'm going to turn the card around when I place the PD stick against my thumb. And then measure on the left lens, we're going to get 69 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Check the optical center height. Oh yeah. Man, the kit is good. I'm telling you, I couldn't have done a better job if I had cut these lenses myself. But as you can see, I wasn't doing any work. Running my mouth. That's what I do best. These are a few of my favorite things. So, this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mention that when you get these in the mail, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S., and this purchase is tax-free. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Again, I mentioned I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Versace 3245 in color. What color is this? I can't, you know, I can't see with my glasses off. I turned 40. 5237, which is a blue tortoise with the platinum temples. Of course, it's got the Medusa, the Versace Medusa on the temple. I'm gonna put these back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip these over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. So, I also send out a, a selfie request to have your picture on the website. I would love to have your picture, but I also send out not only cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but for the Crizal cleaning cloth and the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide. I field test every cleaning cloth, so I make sure that it works, that none of them are defective. Come on, get back on there. Get back on that screen. But this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them one time. By the way, this is known as a combination frame. Plastic around the lenses and metal around here. The other really nice thing about these American Dream assembled and crafted in Nashville. One of the nice things is, is that these are made out of aluminum which will never tarnish or corrode. It's hyperallergenic. Your skin will never break out with aluminum. Super lightweight 
and stretchable frame. Now, nothing is unbreakable on this planet, but these will take more abuse, abuse than just a stainless steel metal frame. But I'm going to go ahead and activate them, which means I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now, Iris and everyone else, pay attention. This is important. All transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. So this is the first time they've been activated. They're going to keep getting darker. Come on, Iris, we talked about that. Don't you remember? But they're also temperature sensitive, meaning that they will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work a little bit better once it cools off. So that's it. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more American-made frames coming. I'm going to get more. I don't have this one on the website yet. Iris contacted me. I said I'll be glad to order it for you. It came within three days, and I'm ready to ship. But uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. is freeprescriptionlenses.com. On Twitter, it's freerxlenses. If you have any questions about what frames I can or can't get, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. I realize that's a lot to type, so simply click the Contact Me button on the website, or you can leave a question or comment in the comment section below. As I continue to run my mouth, you see these uh, lenses getting clearer and clitter, clearer. All right, careful now. Careful! It's late in the day. It's time to go home, get something to eat, and rest up, and get ready for tomorrow. But Iris in Scottsdale, Arizona, thank you again for the purchase of the American Dream. Model number is 030 in color 2, which is the brown. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.